Hello everyone and welcome back to Epic Battle Fantasy V. So today we are taking on the third fight in the Grand, not the Grand, in the uh, Hall of the, not Hall of the God, Temple of Triumphs, there we go. So we're going to Fire and Thunder Resistance. Fire and Thunder, Fire and Thunder, Fire and Thunder, and a little bit. And also Stun Resistance. Confuse, I got told, is good. Stun Resistance, Stun and Confuse. Also, I've been warned, when you kill this boss, it self-destructs, and if you have no thunder resistance, your party gets wiped out. So I hope that they, whether you have 100, they will survive, if not Nat has 130, so I believe in her. And if not, then I just, I guess, we'll just do it again. It doesn't seem like it's going to be that hard anyway. Yeah, if it's just repulsion, summons and automatic skills. Does that mean, like, no random stumpy glue, no random viking monoliths, no randy woolly mammoths? And you get confused. Hmm. What do I hit you with? Bomb. Yeah. Weaken, haha. <laughs> You're not weak to it. And you don't resist Paris either. Why do I feel like this is gonna give you limit break? I wanna be careful with how. What? He has ridiculous defense. Oh, hello, Curse. It did not warn me he does dark attack. High defense. Uh -huh. At least I can use heal more. The fact that I can use heal more already makes this fight easier than Natalie's. <laughs> Where is it? Get rid of Doom. Curse. So, what's the point of me attacking? Is there even any point of me attacking? Honestly? I don't think there is. I'm not sure if Nolex can survive, but holy, right? You don't like holy. Might as well. I do have limit breaks ready for a reason. I should have used Genesis on him. Would have been so good. Oh, there we go. There's the damage. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. He has actually zero is zero. He takes zero dark damage, which is pretty cool. You're just talking a bunch of stuff because you're some killer android, aren't you? Ouch. Yeah, we're just gonna let you reside back in backup. I wanna hit this guy with judgment. Because he's gonna take so much damage from judgment. So much that his limit break could honestly come off. Not yet. That's fine. Oh, when she heals, of course. No summons allowed, of course. Matt, Matt seems like he's honestly useless in this fight. I might have to fight with Lance, honestly, since magic has bomb attacks. Hmm, and you have your limit break ready too. Should I just go for it? Should I? Spam all my limit breaks? Go for it, let's do it. That's physical, of course, that won't do that much. What am I thinking? Of course, he doesn't. Oh, that's gonna do good. Yep. <laughs> the good thing is, we can bring Matt back in. Holy light. There goes the break. Yup. Alright. We play the same way we played against Matt. Everyone gets auto light and I'll just defend. Magic defense up as well. Noob. Got it. Let's see. 
Haha, <laughs> zero fire damage! What? High radiate. Oh my god, there's a pack down. Magic defense. Oh ho ho! It's magic defense. Ah. Yeah, he's gonna be taking massive damage now. Boom. What's the point of me attacking? All I'm here for is just to keep my allies alive. Matt's not really going to do much help in here. He's just a support character. Oh, I was supposed to be Purify, of course. Now we definitely need to Purify. The Scorch is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Radiation, yep. Well, judgment time. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yep. You're not stunned anymore. I can just bring a Moab and hit you with that. Wow. It's actually getting owned. Nice buffs you got there. Radiation, yep. I can't use summons to invert his buffs, of course. I was gonna say. I can still just fed him, or at least try to. Three, tried it on all three of them, and all three times I hit, so. This is where I waited with Moab for. This is the time when he has backup. <laughs> I feel like Limit Break is coming, so... I mean, this Limit Break last time was pretty pitiful, so let's just go for it. Yeah, there it is, good. He's doing so much damage, I'm actually terrified. It's Nuke again! I have so much resistance to fire. Yeah, okay, his Limit Break literally does zero damage to me. I think I'm gonna catch Lancelot. What can I do? Anything that's magical, magic attack. Plasma field. Yeah, that did alright. Just pop the fence back up. Radiation's obviously gonna bring it down anyway. Oh, I'm back on scorch. Okay. Uh oh, oh no. Ah, that's the scariest attack, so that's Shadow of a Doubt. Now that was terrifying. I think he'll die before he gets a turn to do anything else. What do I attack him with? I don't really have anything, so I guess Matt can come back and just like, what can he do? Get him with a holy attack, I guess, or something. It would do like 30,000, maybe, yeah. Stag, no! He literally gave instant there. Ouch. That was painful. Alright, Lance. With the Medipacks. Get rid of Scorch. And burn. He's almost dead. Bit of judgment. Siphon. You failed. That attack, okay. All shine. Boom. He's got so many debuffs. Should I go for the capture? Honestly, I have heal more as well, so. Uh huh. Of course. He resisted by 40, got the evade down, so... That's gonna lower his evade by 10%. I can try and capture him now. It's gonna be tough, but I'll, I'll give it a shot anyway. Oh, he's fighting back. Feisty. Typhon, yay! What did you just- Oh, that's- that gives confused. 
Too bad I have resistance to it, my friend. Alright, Nat has freaking chorus. Why can I not- Oh, he was confused. I see. That's the one I want to use. I'm gonna hit him with a shine. If it kills him, it kills him. If not, it's gonna bring his HP almost down to zero. Mm, they didn't even do that much, actually. Wow. Alright, buddy. Now you're starting to get annoying. Ah, he's on 9,000 HP. That's pretty funny. Uh huh. Nice. No, he's dead. I did not want to. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. I hope someone survives this attack. It doesn't hit your back up. Thank goodness. Nat died of 130 resistance. What? That's kind of scary. Nat had 130 resistance to thunder. I guess it's not fun, but it might be bomb. Hmm. Well, anyway, we win. GG. Three of the players down. Well... Good, good thing we had backup, huh? <laughs> we did survive the blast. <sighs> well, oh, what does that boost? Defense. That's probably going straight to Natalie because she's as fragile as a um, block of ice or whatever else you want to mention. Anyway. We know who's left, it's obviously Anna, so let's have a look. What? There's a zombie Hydra here? What are we dealing with here? Wait, why do I have Brimstone? Buff effects are reversed, debuffs are still bad. Hang on a second, let me just test something out here. So you're telling me if I buff protect, it's going to be negative? Ah! <laughs> okay. What? You want me to defeat her without using buffs of any sort? What? What? Huh? Annabelle. Dark and wind, and her arrows are very poisonous. Weak to holy ice wind. What, but no buffs allowed. Oh my gosh. And of course. She summons zombie hydras. I hope that's just a one time thing. That fight's gonna be interesting. I'll have to try and figure out a strategy. Playing without buffs. Literally my favourite way to play in this game. Oh dear. Anyway, that was it for Lancelot. Managed to get him, and the explosion did wipe out my party, but backup didn't die. Which is cool. There he is, Twisted Metal. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the last fight.